Hello guys, this is Spell from Speedwap and you're welcome to today's tutorial. Now for today, I'm going to give you a quick overview of Speedwap or I'm going to take you through a quick tour on Speedwap. Now when you log into your Speedwap website, this is exactly how the interface is going to look like, right? So right here, we have some of the editing tools. You can decide to edit any element you drag and drop onto your editor. Okay, now when you click on this component button, you can see it has a whole lot of templates you can choose from. Right here is container, which contains a lot of template. Now we have text, which contains samples of text templates. Now we also have media, which has a lot of media templates. And when you go further down, we have forms, we have information, and we have bar. So whichever you want to use, Speedwap got you covered. Now the first thing we want to do is to drag and drop an element so that we can do a whole lot of design so we can try a whole lot of new things for today so first of all i'm just going to drag and drop a paragraph template okay now for you to resize this template or for you to resize this element all you have to do is to click on this button right here this square right here and you can just drag it down okay now if you want to um, resize it this way too you can just drag and resize it depending on how you want your elements to be resized okay so that is how to resize a paragraph okay so you can just delete whatever information that is in here and input your own information or you can paste in an information you already have okay now this is the text information i have pasted into my paragraph so if you want to change the font style of your paragraph all you have to do is to select the paragraph make sure it's selected when it's selected this this red um, border will be around your element okay it will give you an indication that your element is selected now if you want to change the font style you can decide to change the font style to whichever font style you want to use so I want to use Vedana and I change the font style and it affected the element right here now I can also decide to increase or decrease the font size of your element okay so depending on how you want it or depending on what you want to do with that element you can just increase and decrease the font size of your element okay you can quickly do some changes by just selecting it and deleting whatever number that is there and maybe inputting your own number so if it's 12 it's just going to increase to 12 or 18 it's just going to increase to 18 for you now you can also decide to bolden right here the b stands for bold you can bolden your text or when you click on it again it just goes back now you can also decide to italize by just clicking and when you click on it again it just goes back to the way it was now right here enables you to change your font color okay so you can just click on it drag and just change the color you want to change it to okay just change the color to any color you want to change it or any color you want to move it to. so you can just decide to move it to black and to stay on black for you now these four um buttons these four different grouped lines you see right here enables you to align your elements so if you want to align to the left if you want to align to the center if you want to align to the right or if you want to justify your element it's just going to align your element for you now to my right okay to my right right here the first button you see right here is the property panel and the property panel enables you to do a whole lot of advanced stuff to your work okay so when you click on it you can see that this opens up for you and you can decide to change the index of your element or add an id to your element now the next button right here is the style button now when you click on it it opens up the style panel for you which allows you to do a whole lot of or allows you to add various styles and design to your work okay so you can just decide to play with any of these elements right here to see how or to see what changes is going to be affected on your element so right here says text shadow if you want to add a horizontal shadow you can just add a horizontal shadow you can equally add the vertical shadow and you can you can also blur the your text as well or blur the shadow as well okay just play with any of these to just see how it works now you can also decide to change the background of your elements okay by just clicking on this color wheel and just change the background to anything you want to change it to or anything that will suit you so whatever you want to change your background to just feel free to do so if you want to change it to yellow just explore 
explore any of the shades of yellow now if you are satisfied with the kind of yellow the shade of yellow you are seeing you can just exit out of that okay now right here is image which allows you to change the image or which allows you to add an image to your page or to your background now when you go further down this element right here is the margin so you can decide to add an upper margin and as you can see a margin has been added at the top or you can also decide to add a left margin and you can equally decide to add a left margin or a bottom margin okay, now when you click on this element right here is padding now you can also decide to add the padding at the top of your okay of your element or at the side of your element which is the left side of your element and the pattern is going to be added for you now right here you can also add a border okay so now when it comes to border this box allows you to add or it makes you add a curve or it makes it make it gives you a curved border that is why it is in this format so when you click on none that means you don't want to add the border but when you click on solid it adds a solid border for you when you click on dash it gives you a dashed border when you click on dotted it gives you a dotted border now when you play with this element it's just going to give you a curved border so however you want your border to be to be just play with this element and your border is going to be curved all right now you can just try a whole lot of things or you can just decide to do a whole lot of things by playing with this element now when you scroll further down this one says position position just allows you to change the position of your element so when it comes to speed while well, by default um all elements are in the static mode so for you to change or for you to move your element around you just have to change it to change its position so you can decide to change to relative absolute or fixed so let me just change my element to an absolute position and you can see that i can easily move that around okay now it's as simple as that now let's explore other things and see how the speed warp editor or the speed warp website works okay now the next thing i'm going to do is how to copy a style or design from one element and paste it onto another element now before i do that let me drag and drop a different template or the same paragraph template okay so i drag and drop the same paragraph template now i just want to move this down the paragraph template is here so you can see that i can't move it down why because again let me repeat by default it's in the static mode so i just click on the element locate position and change it to any of the modes or any of the positions so if i change to relative i can easily move this element around okay that is how to change the position of an element so now let me copy the style and design of this element one and duplicate it in elements two okay so all i have to do is to right click and choose copy now you can also decide to do the short form of copy by by pressing on your keyboard ctrl c and it is going to copy your element for you now when i come here i can paste this by also right clicking and just go to paste style or the short form is control or command k and it's going to paste the style for you so as you can see let me just move this down a bit so as you can see it has duplicated the design or the style of this onto the second element right here so that is how to copy and paste a design from one element and move it onto another element now the next thing we are going to do is how to delete an element if you want to delete an element you can just right click and just do delete or if you want the short form of delete you can just do control and backspace and your element is going to be deleted now i just want to move this up a bit now for you to duplicate your element all you can do is control or command d okay and your element will be duplicated for you or you can just duplicate right from this session right here and it's going to duplicate your element for you or if you don't want it that way right click and you are going to find duplicate right here and it duplicates your element for you as well so let's delete our elements i'm going to use the shortcut form this time around so control and backspace okay control then backspace then the element is being deleted for me all right so the next thing we are going to do is to explore these panels right here okay these panels at this side okay this panels right here one two three so as i said from the beginning this is the property panel 
okay the property panel just enables you to do advanced stuff to your element and the style panel allows you to do a whole lot of styles to your element now when you come right here the third button right here is the history button okay the history buttons gives you a history of what you have done okay or a history of the page you are building or how far you have come so if you just want to go back to the previous work you can just click on any of these or any of these and just go back to the previous work so as you can see it has gone back to the previous work depending on which one i click and you can just decide to trace your previous work by just looking closely to whatever information that is in here so that is how the history panel works now right here is a navigation panel okay all right here is the navigation now when you the navigation allows you to select or navigate through your editor very easily so it allows you to locate and select your elements very easily so when i come here okay this is my first paragraph so when i click on the first paragraph it will select and locate my first paragraph for me when i add a different element, navigation is going to capture that as well so let me add a different element i'm going to drag and drop list okay and you can see navigation has captured that for me so if i want to select the entire list all i'll have to do is to click on this to select the entire list or to locate my list item all right and that is how to easily locate an element using navigation okay all right now let's exit out of that and do other stuff as well now the next thing we are going to do is how to resize a row or how to resize a column and how to add an element into our column so let's give ourselves more space by deleting all these elements because we will not be needing them okay i'm just going to delete all these elements because i will not need them we want to have more space to try other things as well i'm going to delete this as well okay now let me drag and drop a row okay so i'm going to drag and drop a row now for you to resize all you have to do is to just click on the element or just click on the column in which you want to resize you can just um click resize right from here and it's going to easily resize for you that is how to resize just click on it resize you can just resize the colon for you now if you want to add an element inside your column it's equally easy as well so let's say i want to add a paragraph inside my colon all i have to do is to drag and drop a paragraph okay now as you can see the paragraph is beneath my colon so i just click on the paragraph and move it inside my colon and that is how to drag an element inside the colon now the next um the next element that allows you to also and um, group a whole lot of elements into one is a section okay so if you want to group or if you want to add a whole lot of elements into one you can use a section to do that okay so this is my section i've, I've dragged and dropped my section right here now i want to add other elements into my section okay so i can just decide to click here okay let me just click out of it so when you click here this panel is going to open up for you so depending on what you want to add into your section you can just drag and drop okay so if you want to add a heading you can just drag and drop move the heading into your section if you want to add a paragraph okay you can just move the paragraph into your section if it's a list you want to add you can drag and drop and you can see that the list is inside my section everything is inside my section okay now that is also how to group elements into one section or into another element okay and that is how it works now if you want to preview your work all you have to do is to click on the preview and it's going to just preview your work so the preview is just it to show you how your work looks like before it's being published so you can just click on it to see how your website looks like okay now you can also right here okay this button right there when you click on it is going to open other devices for you so it enables you to view your work in the desktop mode which is already in the desktop mode. Like can you, you can view your work in the on the laptop mode. Now you can also view your work on the tablet, how your work will look like on the tablet. And lastly, you can view how your work will look like on a mobile phone. Okay. Now, if it's looking great for you, you can just decide to preview again and publish your work. Okay, now that is how speed warp works, and that is how speed warp 
allows you or enables you to do a whole lot of interesting things all right guys that brings us to the end of today's very brief tutorial on the overview of speed wrap i'm sure by now you know how to do a lot of basic things and also know how to play with all the elements when it comes to speed wrap and website creation now at this moment if you have not subscribed to our channel please do click on the subscribe button right below so that anytime we drop any new content you will get the notification and learn something new thank you for subscribing to our channel and we'll see you in the next tutorial